There is no doubt that the Philippines is a haven of nature's greatest wonders. From the highest mountain down to the luring beaches, the 7,641 islands are screaming for you to explore. But since COVID-19 pandemic has put us on hold and made us temporarily unable to travel, most of us haven't checked any of the tourist spots listed on our bucket list. And speaking of the Philippines, are you sure you have already explored everything in our beautiful country? I mean, have you been to the second largest contiguous coral reef in the world? Have you tried the longest island-to-island -island zip line in Asia? Have you been to all the powdery white sand beaches? Or have you seen a tamarau? As we finally reopen our tourism, I know you are excited to explore more tourist spots here in the Philippines. And here in Occidental Mindoro, you might find your holy grail. Join me as I tour you to the beautiful island of the erstwhile Mina de Oro and be astounded by its natural wonder and history. From ridge to reef, we have tourism products waiting for you to be traversed and explored. Tara na! Occidental Mindoro na! If you have already been here in Occidental Mindoro, I knew that the most beautiful kind of welcome you've experienced were the genuine smiles of our locals. Mindoreños are happy people and we are always happy to share to our tourists and guests the beautiful island we are living in. And we are all excited to have you here again. So to give you ideas on what to expect when you visit our island, let's start the tour. Starting with the breathtaking renowned Mount Sigit Bako Natural Park. It lies in the three towns of the province. The largest portion lies in Sablayan, but the entry point of visitors is in Kalintaan. Its evergreen forest and grassland are the ideal home and playground of Tamarau, a dwarf buffalo endemic to the island of Mindoro. Mount Sigit Bako Natural Park is not just home of Tamaraus, but also home of the Mangyan tribe, the Tao Buwid. You will experience the rich biodiversity while enjoying your trail to the peak of this ASEAN Heritage Park because this is also a melting pot of some of nature's flora and fauna. You will also get the chance to see up close the Tamaraus via the lenses of your telescope. If you are looking for a much shorter trail for a day tour, our next destination will surely excite you to pack your bags for a weekend to rebuild your core. Up to the mountain of Rizal is a beautiful view of the semi hiccup shaped hills of Mount Zion, an emerging natural attraction of the province. Occidental Mindoro is also a religious tourism site. Found in the municipality of Abra de Ilog, you can have your pilgrimage to the peak of Cruz na Parang as your devotion especially during Holy Week. This is where most Mindoranians trek during those sacred days to show their faith and steadfastness as a Christian. Our mountains do not only possess nature's wonder but also history that contributed to what we are now. And one historical site can be found in the islands of Luok and Lubang, the Onoda Trails. Onoda Trails commemorates the story of Lieutenant Hiro Onoda, the Japanese traveler that lived in the jungle for 30 years after the war. Hike the trail and learn about the forest ecology and biodiversity and how Onoda survived living with nature. Going down from the hills, I know you are looking for refreshment. We have here the famous spring that will amaze your natural preference. Going to the municipality of Paluan, let's take a look at Kalawagan Mountain Resort. This resort is ideal for family and barcada outings. It is well known not only for its panoramic view, but also for its crystal clear and refreshing water. This is perfect for your outdoor adventure. And if you think you still need more refreshment, well, we still have lots to offer. Dive into the beautiful Agbalala Falls found in the rainforest of the municipality of Abradi Ilog. The natural ambience of the falls and unspoiled condition make it inviting and appealing to tourists. With a majestic height of 115 feet and freezing water, I'm sure you will stay for summer. 
and to quench your thirst for more freshwater adventure, let me take you to the majestic Taklala Falls in the municipality of Santa Cruz. This emerging tourist spot is also the best place to cool down. Plunge and splash into its pool under the green shade variety of trees. Or for a short ride from this spot, you can also try and experience the nostalgic and calming ambience of the Karindan Lake surrounded by its captivating semi-rusty red mountain just alongside the main road. Finally, our last fresh water destination but definitely not the least is the Magtangkob River located in Barangay Paklolo in the municipality of Magsaysay. Here you can swim, have your picnic, or ride a paddle bamboo raft while traversing between the unique rock formation, a quiet place that only echo the nature's sound. Marching forward to our next adventure, are you ready to feel the extreme? The sun and the beach? If so, then let's get done! Aside from being surrounded by the coast, our island also showcases different types of sun. And here in Tayamaan Beach in Mamburao, you can start your trip and experience the cream sand. Floating on the water seems to be a therapy for most of us. And if you can't get enough of the thoughts of floating, our next destination will surely make you pack your bags and aboard the boat. Welcome to Grace Island Resort! Known for its floating cottages and represented by a lone tree quaintly perched above the Linino Brock. This is located in Barangay Ambulong, Municipality of San Jose. The dreamly decorated floating kubo has its private verandas that look upon the tranquil sea water waiting for your family and barcada activities. Now, let's island hop to our next destination. If you think you have already been to all white beaches in our country, our next destination will surely make you book your flight right away. Welcome to Inasakan Beach of San Jose. Inasakan Beach has a pure, alluring, and powdery white sand that will hold you captive once you experience life on this island. Best for camping and water activities, this island must be listed on your bucket list. Of course, our white sand beach adventure never ends here because our next stop is in Garza Island. Garza Island is in the town of Bagsaysay. It is a 3-hectare island occupied by the residents of Barangay Alibog. It is a white sand beach with fascinating aerial shots. Surely this will satisfy all beach lovers out there. Moving on to our next adventure. Prepare your eyes as we explore more of our pride and tourist spots. Found in Sablayan, the tourism capital of the province, is not your typical zipline adventure. Located at the Pressing Park, a total of 1.7 km cable length and 1.4 km point to point distance, this prominent tourism adventure is not just our local pride but also a world class pride of the Philippines for being the longest island to island zipline in Asia. And you can only enjoy it here in Occidental Mindoro. Sablayan is not just a board of the longest island to island zipline but also a home of another wonder that dominated the world. Apu Reef Natural Park is not just the top destination of the province. It is also the second largest contiguous coral reef in the world. The long stretch white sand and blue-green waters, the giant lighthouse, in the lagoon surrounded by a century-old mangrove forest, home and sanctuary to various seabirds, are the things that captured the interest of many locals, foreign tourists, and even researchers. If you are planning to wrap up your day here in Sablayan, we also have plenty of resorts that will allow you to experience tranquility while staying in their cabanas. And here in Pandan Island Resort, you can rest your day and savor the peace and serenity away from extracted city. Besides capturing the picturesque view of nature's masterpiece, one activity that excites the tourist is exploring what's in the ocean deep. Dive underwater and observe bountiful marine life beneath the surface. 
Descending underwater is like flying on a whole new planet until you realize you already are in a different wonder when you open your eyes to more treasures beneath the ocean surface of this island. Of course, our tour will not be complete without treating our tummies with foods and beverages from local cuisines, seafood, locally produced products, a large bilao of kakanin, a local wine. What more can you ask when we have everything here for you? These mouth-watering dishes will remind you of the good times and memories. Our island is here, always ready to serve you good food for a good life. And to end our tour, we won't allow you to leave this island empty-handed. Our souvenirs were crafted artistically by the locals. From old-fashioned theme to a trendy look, from decoration to a collection of items and indigenous products, pieces of jewelry and accessories, everything we have here can match your fashion. With all these treasures that feed our eyes, our island also holds the greatest treasure that possesses genuine smiles and pure souls. They are the tribes of Mangyan. They were with us from the start and still be with us in the future. Traveling is indeed the best way to indulge and pamper ourselves. Visiting different places once in a while is not just an option, but a necessity to give ourselves time to escape from the busy world. And here in Occidental Mindoro, our mountains, our oceans, and our people will be waiting for you. Discover and revisit our island. Tarana, Occidental Mindoro na! <laughs>